See, Charles Barkley, we knew you weren't sorry when you apologized for saying you wanted to punch Draymond Green in the face. Hey guys, it's Ty. Thanks for watching The Fumble. For all the latest news on all your favorite athletes, make sure to hit subscribe and make sure to follow me on IG and Twitter at Ty One on Sports. All right, as most of you know, after Draymond got into a little confrontation with Rondo earlier in the postseason, Chuck said he wanted to punch him in the face. And then Draymond publicly reacted. If you feel that strongly about something, he's seen me a million times. If he feel that strong anybody, then punch me in my face when you see me. Oh, and so did his mom, who blasted Barkley on Twitter for messing with their baby. Chuck took a moment to apologize not only to Draymond, but to his mom as well. Take a look. Let me say this. I apologize to Draymond Green and his mom. Hey guys, drop a comment and let me know if you think he was sincere. Because I sure don't. I knew he was only apologizing because TNT probably came to him and said you must. Okay, first of all, I don't think Chuck should be censored in the first place. That's part of his charm. Let him say what he wants. If he wants to punch Draymond, let him say that. Well, I guess great minds think alike because Chuck did an interview with ESPN and said he does, in fact, still want to punch Dray in the face. He's a good, he's a really good player. He's a nice kid. I still want to punch him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> the Chuckster stayed on the show and gave his thoughts on the current state of the playoffs in the West. Do you believe the Rockets now have a legitimate chance to win the series? Well, I think, uh, number one, yes, I do. I think whoever wins the game tonight is going to win this series. And he also gave his thoughts on rookie Sterling Brown, who was tased by police earlier this year without apparent cause. You know, I, I've taken some heat in the past for defending cops, and I'm always going to defend cops. I'm always going to defend cops. But in that situation, the cops were wrong. And his take on the NFL's new rule banning players from kneeling during the anthem. I'm going to stand for the anthem, personally. I'm personally going to stand for the anthem. But I think if guys don't want to stand for the anthem, they should have that right. Thoughts? Talk to me in the comments below. As promised, today's post notification shout out goes to Malik Pellart. But I love you all, and I will shout as many of you out as I can. It's just going to take me a minute. So be patient, keep watching, and keep letting me know you're part of the squad. Guys, I am going to be in the comments commenting back on all of today's videos. So make sure you stop by and say hi. Also, make sure you're subscribed. Much love, fam. Peace.